Hello everybody, Michael here and welcome to my Guild Wars Prophecies Homeworld Remastered number 24, Abaddon's Mouth. In this mission run I strongly recommend you bring 3 triple red, uh, Livia as your monk type, Koss as a stance removal, Margaret the Sly as your choker. Keep in mind I have two elemental skills here that prevents me from being knocked down and gives me additional armor against elemental damage. This will be very effective when fighting against the Mursat Elementalist and, Co and Elias as my minion bomber. I'll be using my standard interruption build and with this I should be ready. Okay, when you start off in this mission, uh, the fort battle is actually the hardest. Uh, reaching is a little bit different than I would do in normal mode. After you kill the seal, uh, you will, the first thing you'll see in, inside the fort are two warriors. At that point, just pull. Do not attract any more uh, surrounding foes. I'll get more to that point once we break the first seal. Okay, once you do that, get to this point. Make sure you kill the two warriors first. The Ritz system uh, should be able to tank for a couple of more seconds. After you kill the Elementalist, if you are any, you kill that one first over here. After that's done, proceed to the Necromancer and the Mesmers. Shut them down as soon as possible. Uh, approaching to the fort like I did is a little bit too risky. Uh, if it's too much damage, too fast, uh, pull them back. Take your time. Okay. Once you've uh, breached them like this, it should be uh, smooth sailing from here. To get the bonus successfully, I recommend you clear the foes around this path first, so you don't get ganked from the top. Always kill the elementalist first. Don't get cut off like here. Always watch your front and your back. Of course, Olivia would stand in the daze circle.
After you've successfully cleared the top, go back down. Okay, once you've cleared that, those three uh, rangers, go back this way. Do not break this red dot yet, this uh, seer, ether seal. Once you break it, the bonus, uh, that girl, will start running. And especially in Harma right now, you can't afford that. You'll most likely kill her. I, I, I don't think that she has the uh, infusion armor on her as well. So that's gonna even speed up the killing process. And like every other bonus, you probably heard me say it a billion times, the NPC dies, the mission is over. Well the bonus is over for this case. God, I love Koss. Just killed all those rangers like it was nothing. Well, they weren't really that strong. All they had carried was whirling defense and a couple of ranger skills wasn't really that big of a threat anyway. I'm just so lucky that Koss uh, was here. Kill the ranger, oh no, the boss first, my bad. The reason why I targeted the monk boss first is not because you want to kill the monk first, it's because the foe stuck his head out first and my, my spirits had their lock on on it. You, as you notice, it actually is harder to kill the mesmer boss because my spirits are scattered all over the place.
Okay, once you've cleared the two uh, seals here and here, proceed here. You should receive a Chimera buff, as so. Regardless if this monk makes it to there or not, the warriors will always uh, attack you anyway. Make sure you have this Chimere buff on you uh, still. Run along here. This is the path of the bonus. You definitely need it to kill all the Hydras. Activate the ward if you can't kill the, all the meteor showers in time. Keep an eye out for um, Hydras. Those are your number one priority. Luckily, the flesh golems here are melee, melee casters, so when they punch up by attacking you, just days and uh, epidemic spread. Keep in mind, we just saw two uh, Hydras. We have to pick them off when they come back. If we do not, they have a chance of killing the NPC. PC will always go along this path. This path. They will never go along this path. I know I summoned a couple of spirits back there, but it's not strong enough to kill both hydras. At least I don't think so. So be sure when you're going back, double check. I would pick off this uh, Drider group here. Even though she walks along this path, it's still a little bit too risky. I may have to pick off or trim off this group too. can ignore this mob. Okay. Sometimes this um, Roger boss spawns, sometimes he spawns somewhere else. But this is another famous spot, well infamous spot, that uh, Raj is hidden in the prophecies. You want to go for Edlon first. There will be a giant worm spawning around here. It deals a lot of um, damage, so be very careful. Turn on Union, you're facing uh, serious damage. Be 
here's the giant worm. Okay, once you've cleared this area, you should be fine to uh, break the ether seal now. You may choose any path to walk back, but I'll pick um, the right path this time. I want to see or if I can uh, pick up the two hydras. Yeah, here are the two hydras. Make sure you do not let them get the. Make sure you do not let them get away. To get away, you have to go find them again. I'm trying to beat this with this amount of time. Programmers have uh, designed the hydras to be able to spam two meteor showers. Showers, because of uh, their alt, their elite uh, glyph of renewal or something. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward here all the way until I get the bonus and come back to this point.
Okay, we're back. After that long track to walk for the bonus, we're going to go back to the mission now. Just clear through the warriors. Thank you. BHA the seal. When he uses that glyph, use a knockdown type and he'll negate his glyph. Of course, when you can't knock down, you just gotta beat the free spell on you. Okay. I would choose to pull here just for a little inch. The monk will usually run away. This time it's not, I don't know why. Ignore the bowmans. They're camping here and here. You want to kill this warrior group here. Even though he used healing seed, it's gonna be useless because I'm gonna be pulling him out of his healing seed area. If not, I'm not gonna fight him. He can't heal the elementals, he's too far away from him. Healing seed will only affect adjacent foes.
Okay, to me, I think this is the funnest part of the mission. To a lot of people, it's probably hell. Um, what you do first, after getting the Trimere buff here, you start in a zigzag formation. Do not start one side, and do not go the other way. That will only increase your chances of dying, because you will not be able to escape if, uh, if you do gang ganged up. You will be approached by a couple of Mursad waves here and here. What I like to do is start on this one. Break the seal immediately. Uh, when you, every time you break a seal here, you'll summon uh, four melee type uh, non-flesh foes. Yes, you'll probably ask me why did I bring Elias. Well, I'm, I'm not a fan of Mesmer's, and I liked his uh, weakened armor and epidemic. They were useful against the Mursad. That's about it. Okay. Luckily, these uh, are melee, so they'll gang up. Cast painful bond to destroy them very easily. Be sure to always keep an eye out for the Mursat guardians. Uh, they're a mixed range from mesmer, necromancer to elementalist. Paying them no mind of attention, destroy their seal. Notice this red dot spawned. It's okay. We got spirits in the back to cover us. Kill the Mursat. After you break the third seal, you should be very, very wary of your position. There are 17 spirits on the playing field. You should not be worried about getting killed here. So you have uh, free freedom of just staying in one spot. Besides, there are not enough Mursats to kill all the spirits before they respawn. The Mursat here. And then push for fourth seal flag your heroes a little deeper at this stage you want to break all the seals now Margaret is also another good hero candidate because of the healing seed and dust trap combo. Anyone that gets near to melee your spirits will feel the wrath of those two. Well, just one nasty uh, trap, dust trap. Um, once you clear all six seals, this whole entire map will clear its will cleanse itself, so you don't have to worry about getting ganked after the clip. There. Clip and then a, a Titan will spawn. Kill him. And then the clip will end. And we'll find ourselves at Hell's Precipice, the last mission of Prophecies. I'll see you guys until then.